We're diving into something that might sound a bit fancy, but is actually pretty simple and super useful. Mutual funds. You might already own some at work and not even know it. Think of mutual funds like a big potluck dinner. Everyone brings a dish to share and you get to enjoy a little bit of everything. It's kind of what mutual funds do with your money. But before we dive into the top three reasons to invest in them, let's take a quick look back to understand what they are and where they came from. Mutual funds have been around for a long time. The very first one popped up way back in the 1920s. The idea was to make investing accessible to everyone, not just the super rich. Imagine a big basket. Instead of filling it with fruit, you fill it with different types of investments, stocks, bonds, and other securities. This basket is managed by a professional who decides what to put in or take out, hoping to make the basket as valuable as possible. All right, on to the first big reason to consider mutual funds, diversification. Just a fancy word for not putting all your eggs in one basket. When you invest in a mutual fund, your money gets spread across many different investments. It's like going to Golden Corral and getting a little bit of everything. If the meatloaf isn't hitting the spot, ah, no big deal. You've got the pot roast or fried chicken to pick up the slack. In a mutual fund, if one of the investments is underperforming, there could be dozens, sometimes hundreds of others to pick up the slack. This helps reduce your risk because if one company doesn't do well, you're not putting all your hopes and dreams into that one investment. The second reason is professional management. Remember the person who decides what goes in and out of the basket? That is a professional, professional fund manager. These are experts who eat, sleep, and breathe investing. They do all the heavy lifting, researching, buying, selling. It's like having a personal chef at that buffet making sure you get the tastiest and most nutritious dishes without you having to cook a thing. And lastly, mutual funds are accessible and affordable. Back in the day, investing was like an exclusive club. <laughs> Hard to get into unless you had a lot of money. But mutual funds changed the game. They let you start investing with a smaller amount of money, and because your investment is pooled with others, you get access to a variety of investments that might be too expensive if you try to buy them all on your own. All right, let's say you've worked on your personal budget and decided you can invest $100 a month for retirement or some other long-term goal. If you were to invest in, say, Apple, trading just shy of $200 per share as of when I produced this video, your $100 could buy about half a share and then you'd only own one company. Not so diversified. Instead, a $100 investment in a mutual fund would give you indirect ownership in potentially hundreds of companies, depending on the fund. What's better? Taking a chance on one item in a restaurant or having access to the whole buffet where you'll likely find something you'll like. All right, not a perfect analogy, but I think you get the idea. And in no way am I recommending Apple or any specific investment for you or anyone else. This is strictly for educational purposes. So there you have it. The top three reasons to consider investing in mutual funds. Diversification, professional fund management, and accessibility and affordability. It's like having a ticket to a gourmet buffet with a personal chef, all without breaking the bank. Remember, investing always comes with risks, but mutual funds can be a great tool to help manage those risks and potentially grow your money over time.